Hello, Perfidious Pete here, back to bask in the glory of George R. R. Martin, and then you know also actually play a video game this episode instead of just complaining about them in XCOM: War of the Chosen. You're looking damn good there, George. Looking damn good. But I'm gonna bail off of my soapbox here because I gotta say the top is looking a little bit worn after all the time I spent on top of it last episode. So. You know what? It's back to the formula on this one. I promise you that this episode will be nothing but odd euphemisms for masturbation, uh, forgetting vital equipment, and yelling at my team for missing shots because of the lack of said equipment, coupled with odd, completely irrelevant pop culture references spiced with the occasional dick and fart joke. To this, this, this I vow. So let's get up here, get to scanning, grab a team, toss them out of the Sky Ranger naked, and then yell at them while shitting myself in rage when they fail to properly pummel the trooper. If you know what I'm saying. Increased region income. I really don't. I got a thousand supplies here. What, what, I'm swimming in it. I could be spending the next eight years snorting blow off the ass of the world's most expensive hookers. Do you really think I care about your pathetic? No, I don't care about your region income. I don't, I don't give a shit. Applicants. You know, does Warren Buffett spend all of his time investing in more infrastructure? No, nah, the man just gives away billions of dollars and then sits back and waits for billions more to roll in. The infrastructure's already done. When you're already winning, you don't have to spend time reinvesting in that. That's yeah, fine. Jim Butcher, I right, got banged up a little bit. That should have actually been a promotion, I think, for Jim Butcher as well. Do we have any other promotions that we need? No, what I'd really like to do is form a bond. Can we do? We can do that. So let's add a soldier. We got brand new soldier up here. Uh, where did I stick you? Ernest Klein? Yeah. We got a brand new colonel and he needs a bond. I guess we can't bond him to Chuck Winded because he's wounded and one also, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I guess his bond mate died and was, wow. All right, XCOM. Jeez, what? A widower can't get remarried? That's, uh, it's really not very cool. I guess it's one and done. XCOM subscribes to the penguin philosophy and that when you mate in XCOM, you mate for life. Well, all of these soldiers, with the exception of Chuck Wendig, are bonded. So unless we're going to ruin a relationship, which interestingly enough, could we do? Do we want to do? What if I try to bond you to Charlie Houston? Will that work? It makes, oh, it, oh, well, no, it won't work because he's already bonded. So all we could do is get them to the next threshold. That's not going to, that's not going to do us any good whatsoever. I really want Ernest Klein to have a bond, mate. I'm just, who could we bond him to that would be good? They're really, I mean, we're, we're sort of out of options here. It could, it could be Margaret Atwood, I guess, would be like our next best pick. You know what? Sure, here. Why don't you and Margaret Atwood go get bonded on this, and I'll give you 25 supplies to negate the chance that either of you gets wounded, because honestly, I can spare it. It's like a hobo coming up to same Warren Buffett and be like, Mr. Buffett, can I have change for a cup of coffee? The difference is I'm going to be like, yeah, sure, here's a quarter. And Warren Buffett would spit in that hobo's face and tell him to get a fucking job as an investment banker so he could be a billionaire, too. Warren Buffett's kind of a douche. All right, we finished the plasma blaster. Are we working on anything down in the proving ground? If not, do we need to be working? Okay, we actually are working on another experimental powered weapon. At this point, I kind of don't think we actually need to be doing that, but I suppose there's Our no real drawbacks. did prove beneficial. I Advent data orders, pad research. Commander. Yeah, can we work on the shadow chamber thing yet? No, I like. I don't. I don't care about this. I want to go to the shadow chamber. Yes, leave anyway. And access shadow project archives. Okay, black site vial. Can we not? Oh, I want to do a new. Do a new report. Can we research the gate? We can research the gate. All right, excellent. So we're going to start researching the gate, and I guess we'll start working towards making contact to get over here to investigate our other... Never mind, we could just go do this mission right now. Hmm. All right, well, let's finish the radio relay, I guess. We'll let everybody recover from their wounds. We had a couple soldiers who got banged up a little bit. Klein and Margaret Atwood have uh, completed the depths of their bond. They're now desperately in love. It's nice to see Ernest Klein buck in conventions and go in for the whole May-December thing. That's, you know, that just warms the heart. We have two to reduce the Avatar project progress. One takes longer than the other. 
Uh, one gives somebody plus five hacking. I mean, sure. These we're waiting. Are we waiting on J.K. Rowling? We kind of don't need to. We could just take George R. R. Martin, Charlie Houston. We could all. You know what? We've got the whole team here. Terry Elfstone's Brooks is ready. Chuck Winding still. Yeah, we don't need these guys for this mission. We're gonna be. We'll be. I hate to say this, guys, but you know what? We're gonna be just fine without you. Let's send Tony Morrison and Ernest Klein on this mission, I guess. Reducing the Avatar project, I suppose, is still useful. Ernest Klein can at least fill in this gap. Oh, you know what? We formed a bond with Ernest Klein and Margaret Atwood, though. We should have them. We should have them make that bond. Where are you guys at? Is she already bonded to somebody? Am I out of my mind? Did I just have a stroke? What the hell is going on? Ernest Klein should have a bond available, should he not? Where are you, Klein? Never mind, he is bond. Oh, he's bonded to Tony Morse. Okay, never mind. Wait. I thought we tried to bond you to Margaret Atwood. But you're already bound to Tony Morrison? When did that happen? I, you know what? I don't even, whatever. No, I don't want you to have five hacking. Oh, also, I don't want to do future combat. I want to reduce avatar project progress. That's what I want to do. So you're bound to Tony Morrison. Fine. Tony Morrison, go do this. Ernest Klein, go keep her company just in case you guys get ambushed. Although, I don't know if ambush is even still on the table since all the chosen are dead. Can we even get ambushed anymore? I mean, I guess maybe. Got a moderate risk one of these guys gets wounded. Yep, don't care. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Well, I mean, euphemisms for masturbation are my specialty, but uh, let's see. What's a good euphemism for covert masturbation? Clandestinely clapping the clam? There you go. Little clandestine clam clapping. It's more of a euphemism for clandestine female masturbation, but hey, gender equality is important. And then we'll just go. All right, let's go to the black site and kill everyone that's here. I don't care what the reward is. I am a little disturbed that the name of this place is Spider Tower. Not a place that Perfidious Pete would ever set foot inside of because it's probably fucking infested with spiders. You don't call a place Spider Tower if they don't have a serious pest problem. That's all I'm saying. George, let's kick you off of this. Um, you can go. You know what? Let's just... Everybody's fired. How's that? All of you are fired. Squad update required. Mission requires carrying soldier out of combat. The current squad does not contain any soldiers who can complete this task. Well, I'm not too worried about it. We'll add some other people back in. Just give me a second. Tabitha King, I don't want you. <sighs> did we do we have enough ability points to give Tabitha King banish yet? Because she really needs banish. Where's my boy, uh, Terry Brooks? Yeah. Terry Brooks, who's your bond mate? Judy Bloom. Jude's? I mean, Judy Bloom is a current... You know what? Sure, we'll take Terry Brooks and Judy Bloom. That's fine. Then what do we want to back this up with? Let's go with Neil Gaiman and Cormac McCarthy, because I think they... You guys still have a bond, right, Cormac? Yeah, you're bonded, Neil Gaiman. That's an acceptable compromise. Then we just need, what, a Grenadier and some manner of sharpshooter? Do we have a Grenadier sharpshooter team? We actually do, and they haven't gone on a mission in a while. We can take Amy, Mommy Issues, Tam, and Brett Easton Ellis. So let's make utility items available, make weapons available, make armor available, and then let's spend a while outfitting everybody because this is my favorite part of XCOM. All right, Shadow Lance, good powered armor, Claymore. Anything else we want to give you? The Venom rounds I do like. How, do you have any? You have no points whatsoever. I was gonna say if you have points, we might actually buy you the thing that unlocks the ability for you to carry a grenade into combat or some kind of utility item because the utility item is pretty useful for the Reaper. Especially if you give them something that ups their damage. Plasma rifle, just take the disruptor. Gremlin, no. I mean, you, you, at this point, do you need to be told what you're supposed to be taking on a mission, Judy Bloom? It seems like you should know. You've been around the block a time or two, don't get me wrong. Pete, what are you saying? I'm saying Judy Bloom loves the fuck. That's what I'm saying. How do you think she got the nickname Super Fudge? She likes anal. She'll give you some of that Super Fudge, trust me. All right, let's get a war suit on Neil. Little blaster launcher, plasma grenade, nah. I think we're gonna go with the good old fashioned talon rounds because those are what bring the hurt. Neil Gaiman's locked and loaded. Cormac McCarthy. 
Can we give you a weapon upgrade, McCarthy? Like, at this point, we almost have to be able to upgrade your weapon with something. You have an advanced hair trigger. We have a superior hair trigger. We do. Let's give you that. You have an advanced autoloader. Do we have a superior autoloader? We do. Let's give you that. And you are sorted. We got a bunch of weapon upgrades that nobody was using. It feels remiss to not take advantage of them. Amy Tam, uh, Icarus Armor for you. Let's give you the good beam cannon. I mean, the good beam cannon has all of the right moves. It's got all of the appropriate gubbins. Everything a man could want when it comes to destroying. Amy Tam's going to be able to account for almost one pod by herself. Almost certainly. Actually, McCarthy. You don't need a plasma grenade. Here, take a mimic beacon instead. Not that we've... I mean, we've been taking these mimic beacons on missions. It's not like we've been using them. But then again, we have the greatest team of killers who has ever lived. So it's also not like we really needed them. Freddy Stanellis, let's get you a Wraith suit. Get rid of that Plasma Lance, give you the Dark Lance. I'm, you know, I kind of don't really like the Dark Lance. The scope, the autoloader, the hair trigger, these things are all nice. I'm really more interested in the Dark Claw, because the Dark Claw is straight up amazing. Let's throw some uh, Dragon Rounds on top of that. We good then? We good, all right. Sorry, those of you out there just playing the Perfidious Pete drinking game and looking to farm a few shots. Not this time! This time, I'm putting you in rehab. You and Bradford have been hitting the gin pretty hard lately, and you know what? I'm done enabling you. Tired of letting you guys codepend all over me? Not this time. Not anymore. Turn it over a new leaf. These Al-Anon meetings I've been going to are really paying dividends, I'm telling you. After the mission's over, I'm gonna go pay myself a few dividends, if you know what I mean. Yeah. That one was a stretch, Pete. You're right. You're right. That, that one was, in fact, a stretch. Stretch to the old dividend, if you know what I'm going to Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Tell, this forge is some sort of That's a lie. I'm definitely not done. Most likely tied to that stuff we found at the black site. I don't give a shit about the, the black site vile, Bradford. The only thing I give about is, is... The only thing I care at all. The only thing I give a single shit about is spider tower infested with the actual spiders or not. That's all I want to know. Because if the answer is yes, this mission is done. I'm leaving right now. I'm not going to go fight literal spiders. This is I'll kill Advent all day. I'll butcher chrysalids. I'll explode any other manner of creature you want me to explode. But will I, in good conscience, fight spiders? No, because I'm not going to win. Spiders will take me. I'm scared, Bradford. I'm scared. Right, let's get you down here. Terry Brooks going to go handle the initial scouting here. You know where he is. I mean, he's like standing right there by a tree. It's not like it's a secret, Terry Brooks. Don't come in here and be a... Say it all dramatic and cool. Be like, I know where you are. And I saw what you did. I mean, it's... It's not a fucking mystery. The dude's just standing right there in an open field. Getting it done. Who the hell is Dieter Hahn? Oh, good. We've got the guy from Sprockets here to help out on the mission. Now is the time on Sprockets when we dance. <sighs> Alright, Dieter. Well, now is the time in XCOM when you come up here and dance, I guess. You want to put on a black unitard and, like, do an odd sort of, uh... Like, Vogue dance from the mid to late... Tenfold. I was gonna say mid to late 80s, but actually I guess that would have probably been in the 90s, because that was a... On it. Mike Myers bit from SNL. Now is the time on Sprockets when we dance. Uh, Cormac McCarthy? Sure, go ahead. Mommy issues. Anywhere safe for you to be? Just tuck you in behind this rock, I guess. Oh, sure, Amy Tam's got to make it look all cool and fly her fucking boot jets. Just walk down there like everybody else, Amy Tam. You are not special. Okay, please end up close to this truck. Thank you for making my job extraordinarily easy. I sincerely appreciate it. Well, that guy's hard to miss, Terry Brooks. Don't don't act like you accomplished some kind of masterstroke there. That one's a little difficult to, to overlook. Nope. 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 Yep. Nope. Also, nope. There we go. Wait, can I not remote... St okay, are these guys going to get hit by that remote start? Love the fact that it's on the last one, by the way. Can't see whether that's going to hit them or not. It extends out two tiles from the truck, so... I 
actually don't know if it's going to hit either one of these guys, but it's worth it. I mean, it's definitely not going to hit this guy. It's still worth a shot. Let's try a delicate placement. I want to see if Terry Brooks can bomb these guys out of the entire planet with nothing more than a shrapnel on a remote start. I mean, he's definitely not going to get that priest because those guys suck and they always go into the whole, oh, look at me, I'm sustainable. This will be big. They go into their stasis mode. This is going to be big. Wasn't quite big enough. I mean, it was pretty big, don't get me wrong. Uh, that guy shouldn't have been able to spot anything, though, by the way, because we should still totally be concealed. Yeah, everybody is still hidden. So, I don't know what that guy spotted, but he didn't really, whatever it was, wasn't actually a thing. We're going to Overwatch here. The enemy actually doesn't know where we are, so we can just go on Overwatch here, and if any of them happen to spot us, we'll just shoot them. I mean, this guy should just come out of stasis and then make a break for it. This guy's gonna run up here. They're like, hey, where'd that explosion come from? Nobody knows. I really want to see if Terry Burks can finish this off and remain concealed. Okay, we now have a problem. Cormac McCarthy's not in cover anymore. That's real bad. Do we have a plan for this? Um... Yes, what we should do is we take a shot and we kill this elite trooper. This keeps us in stealth because we have silent killing. You're dead. The only fate possible for aliens. Terry Brooks seems a little over eager on that one. Cormac McCarthy, I don't know how you are not. Oh, there's actually a tiny little path for Cormac McCarthy to maybe get out of here. Okay, what if we grapple you out, Cormac? Changing position. I just don't want to get revealed here. That's all I care about. I want Cormac McCarthy to be able to maintain his concealment, and the grapple got him away. You're like, Pete, there. you could just kill him. Sure, I could, but this is a stealth game. This is a challenge for Terry Brooks. This is uh, this is us beating him in or getting him. He's getting jumped into the gang here. He's got to prove himself. You got to take this pod solo, Terry. So that guy's running for help. Spoiler, it ain't gonna help. He's still going down. He is running right over by that sector pod, though. You can't outrun Terry Brooks. You can run, but you can't hide from Terry. He knows where you're at. He also knows when you're sleeping, and he knows when you're awake. Uh, he also knows when you've been bad or good, so, you know, better be good for goodness sake. I'm gonna assume that we can see that man from this tile. It would be almost impossible that we could not. I am on the move. You can run, but you're just going to die tired. Yeah, please don't shoot the sectopod, and instead shoot this man in the back of the brain. Sustain that one, chump. Oh, no, wait, you're definitely dead. All right, Terry Brooks has passed his trial by fire. He has executed the plan. He came in, saw a man, murdered him, remained hidden. The perfect stealth killer. Got it. Dieter, you want to run up there and get ready to host it? Was it like a cable access show? I may be confusing that with Wayne's World, but I thought like it was like Dieter was on some weird German public access. What was it with Mike Myers and his obsession with public access television? Will do. Back when that was still a thing, now we just have YouTube and anybody can put up anything they want. And it's accessible to the entire world instead of just like the people in your local public access affiliate area. Is it a better system? Probably not. I mean, public access, I think, at least required you to pay a nominal fee. So, how do we want to handle this guy? Because it's pretty unlikely we're going to be able to kill a sectopod while remaining stealth. Unless we could execute it. I go where I am needed. We do have one use of the sting ability. Okay, Terry Brooks, let's see if you can really carry this mission. Can you sting this man and execute him with your repeater? Strike at your heart. Nope. It did shred three of his armor, which was nice. 
What are you gonna do? You got no idea who shot at you, Mr. Sectopod. You're just looking around like an idiot, going, What the shit? Where would that come from? We could reveal ourselves. And just, it would be so easy to just 86 this man. I was hoping we could remain concealed, but it just doesn't seem like it's in the cards. And I kind of don't want to waste a whole bunch of time on the mission. Uh, if we run up the turn counter a bunch, we're just making it harder on ourselves. So you know what? Yeah, let's not let's not mess with it. Red East and Ellis, I don't want you taking a shot because I want to get rid of the rest of this man's armor. And if we're going to, well, shit, if we're going to reveal ourselves. Hey, Amy Tam, you want to just kill this guy? Just, yeah, double 99% on the chain shot. Probably going to be enough to get the job done. 13 shredded the last of his armor, lowered his hack defense. He's probably going to survive this, actually, unless we crit. Which we did not. Here's an interesting supposition, though. Now that his hack defense is lowered, and he only has three health left, which we're not overly concerned about, let's just see if we can hijack him. It's going to be low percentage, because I don't think Judy Bloom's a particularly gifted hacker. You know, old dog, new tricks and whatnot. Judy's be at 37%. But I still, even if we are going to supercharge the enemy, it doesn't matter. The guy's got three health. So close, Judy Bloom. So close. But I guess it is true what they say. I can't teach an old dog new tricks. So you saying Judy Bloom's unattractive? Uh, you know, no. Why'd you call her a dog, then? Oh, come on. Don't put words in my 100% chance, even with his enhanced defense. Well, Brett Easton Ellis, just drive a nail through his heart. I'd say right in the brain there, but I don't know if sectoids, sectopods, whatever they are. I don't think they even have a brain. We actually did get two ability points for Brett Easton Ellis, who most certainly did not need them. All right, gaming. I guess we can bring you up here and have you look around. Cormac McCarthy, you're not concealed anymore, so let's be a little more cautious with the rest of our turn. I await their approach. Dieter? Affirmative. Moving out. I am your host, Dieter. I'm on it. Here to be stereotypically German. Come to the discotheque with me. And there we will dance. Terry Brooks, you should probably get a reload off at some point, huh? Little low on bullets. Let's have Terry advance slowly. Volk says Just come I up to okay. here. And we're going to have him reload. You guys really got to stop it with the Volk says, Volk says, Volk says thing, by the way. You know, we could have had Judy Bloom give Terry Brooks a bonus action and had him take another shot and try to execute the Sectopod. It would have been pretty low percentage, but we could have done it. Hey, Judy, let's get you up here. We know it's safe up to this location, so let's not go too crazy, but we can have we can afford to have everybody advance a little bit here. Mommy issues will run you up to cover. Red East and Ellis. Oh, there's a guy over there. Hmm. Ah, well, I guess we'll need to exercise at least a small modicum of caution. Let's bring you over here then. On it. D Ted. Guess we'll just bring you over Good here. Honestly, Dieter, I kind of wish you weren't on the mission, because moving you around is sort of irritating. I have eyes on the enemy. Yeah, we got an Archon and what appears to be a Purifier. We're going to go on what appears to be Overwatch and see what these guys do. Just walking forward a little bit. Oh, Merge, you guys come together right now over me. Eyes on a hostile patrol. All right, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's too good to be true. Okay, Terry Brooks, I still want to try this. We want to, we're trying to make Terry Brooks like a, an actual superstar here. Yep, that scene, okay. Hey, look, it's the thing. Yeah, we'll get it. I want to see if Terry Brooks can like get these two pods to walk together and kill all of them at once because it would be a thing of absolute pure and unholy beauty. So here's what we're going to do. Give me a homing mine. You don't have homing mine. Well, I mean, I suppose we could wait a turn. See if these guys are going to walk close. You know what? It's probably worth it. Let's try it. Moving as ordered. We'll bring the rest of the team as close as we can get them. Which is going to be not that close, really. All right, Brett Easton Ellis, we'll bring you over here. No problem, boss. Dieter, you're not really going much anywhere, are you there, pal? 
Well, I mean, you can get over here. Honestly, we'd be better off to have Cormac McCarthy and Amy Tam in those positions, though. Cormac, can you get all the way up here? No. Come on. Show me a little of that McCormick spice right there. That's right. That's what I wanted. That's the McCormick spice. That's the garlic salt I love to pour on a steak before I on sear it order. in a hot pan. Freddy Stanellis. You know, we're just going to be reloaded. I was going to say we could put you on Overwatch, but that doesn't seem exceptionally useful. And in fact, we can still do both. Moving to Overwatch. I forgot you had a bunch of free reloads. Dieter, come over here and take cover behind this truck. We're probably going to sacrifice your life at some point, but you knew that going in. And Neil Gaiman, I guess we'll let's just double move you up here and get you good and close. That just leaves old Judy Bloom back here. Can we get Judy? I was going to say, curious if we could get Judy Bloom maybe a little closer without triggering a pod, but it looks... The situation saith no. Cormac McCarthy? You get spotted right here, don't you? Yep, just be on Overwatch then. I will not, waver. not that it's going to be useful. Scanning. I want these two pods to walk and stand on top of each other so that Terry Brooks can kill 15 people with the same... Well, that's not going to happen now, is it? Thanks, Brad Stanellis, you shit biscuit. Good shot, at least. Well, no, it wasn't he dodged. You let that man dodge you, you pathetic bastard. You're supposed to be this colossus, this great legendary thing, and then you just get shit on. Cluster up. Put yourselves... Well, that guy's probably just going to get killed on Overwatch, then. He's definitely in sustain mode because Judy Bloom did fatal damage. Yep, yeah, alright. Judy's got a guardian. And what do we got here? Opening up our girl. Alright, 11 damage and we shredded that trooper's armor. We still got a little bit of overwatch left, but none of it's going to trigger from the looks of things. Oh, no, never mind. We got a guardian shot. Judy Bloom back here doing work. Dieter's getting in on the action. Oh, that's right, Pete. Don't forget that Dieter is still here and still contributing. Cormac McCarthy, you want to maybe finish that guy off, huh? Oh, all right. Well, I mean, all I can do is ask. So these guys didn't actually activate, huh? Where'd your other little buddy go? Oh, he's back here behind that truck. Can we hit all these guys with one grenade? Oh, this guy! You piece of crap. What with your whole sustain bullshit? All right, you know what? Here, I'm just gonna kill all of you. One of these guys is gonna move, Take this. and when he does, it's gonna kill all of them. So we actually have used no action, and Amy Tam just killed, I think, three people. That's pretty solid output from Amy Tam. She doesn't have a target, but we could Icarus jump over to here if we wanted to. Do we want to? I think the answer is no. Harry Brooks, what's the chance of you one shot in that guy? Minimal. There is an avatar over there, but I'm not really super worried about the avatar. Red East and Ellis, what can you give me? Uh, we don't need to shoot at those men. They're all dead. 80% shot at that Archon? That's respectable. What can you do with the pistol shot? Can't target the Archon. Well, we're not going to worry about those other guys because, again, they're already dead, Brett. They're already dead. Stop hitting him, he's already dead. Alright, take one at the Archon, that's fine. Not the greatest shot in the world, but probably good enough. 11 damage and the burn does open the door for Terry Brooks to maybe finish him off and remain concealed. It's gonna be close. These guys have activated. Well, I mean... Judy Bloom, even Dieter's got a shot over here. Gaiman can finish that man off whenever we want. So who do we got left? Cormac McCarthy. I mean, these pods are all popped, so no disadvantage in having Cormac. I may have just moved Cormac McCarthy into the radius of that. Nah, I don't think I did. But you know what? There's an easy way to make sure that doesn't happen. First off, this guy is a problem. Let's just wraith over and hit this purifier with a wrath. I mean, it's not going to kill him, which actually we sort of can't afford to do. What if we whiplash him? 59% on the whiplash? He's going to explode when he dies. We could whiplash him and then just shoot him, I guess. Let's just whiplash this man. Okay, got him. It's fine, he got whiplashed. 
And then I guess we'll wrath. I don't want to wrath that guy. I'd like to prefer to wrath the Archon. Oh, right. Wrath doesn't let me pick my tile. What if we just shoot the Archon? 77% chance. It's not a kill. At 7 to 8 damage, we can't, we can't get enough out of it. Uh, mommy issues? Oh, well, here. You finish that, man. That's fine. You started it, Amy Tam. Go ahead and finish him off. Excuse me? Amy Tam, what the hell was that? What? That that was that was shameful. You're going to let yourself get shown up by this rookie named Dieter? Roger that. The little East German all-star? He's going to... Because you know what, Amy Tam? He's going to kill this guy. All right. He's going to very badly injure that guy. Oh, he's in a battle frenzy. He is burning, so we could theoretically get a kill out of that. Somebody has to handle this man. You, could, you know what? Justice, this guy. You are judged. Uh, that was a, actually an extraordinarily bad. Ah, damn it. I was hoping you would wind up in a different title. Wait. That busted Neil Gaiman? How? He did not get stunned. He's probably going to explode when he dies. All right, well, Judy Bloom, you're going to have to come save us from ourselves, which means Neil... Well, first off, Carrie Brooks. Here. Uh, kill the Archon, because you can't miss, and you will not be revealed if, as long as he dies. Peter, you're just ignoring those other three dudes over there. I'm not ignoring them. They're just... They're dead. They just don't know it yet. No chance to reveal him. Terry Brooks is a ghost. You make Sam Fisher look like a chump. Uh, Neil, you are revealed now. I don't want you to be in the area of the proximity mine when that goes off. That would be bad. We're actually going to have to have Judy Bloom come and skull mine this dude. So he doesn't kill. So, yeah, she's going to have to do it. This is the only way we can kill him without setting him off. The skull mine never detonates him. Judy Bloom, by the way, with a fantastic roll. We finally found somebody who can skull mine a dude without taking damage. Nicely done, Juice. Yeah, it was good work. So, okay, Neil Gaiman, I don't want to make you shoot this robot, but you have to shoot the robot because there's a non-zero chance that the robot stays put and shoots at Judy Bloom now that she's out in the open. The rest of these guys are all dead, by the way. Uh, we have no need to... You know what? Take use of that implacable move and move away from that proximity mine just in case it blows up a little larger than we expect. These guys are going to try and move. As soon as they do... They detonate. And goodbye. See, your cowardice killed your friend. I want you to know that you are responsible for that. And Cormac McCarthy did manage to remain just outside the explosion radius. Well done, team. Everybody, good work. Fantastic. And also, where I'm wrapping up the episode. If you enjoyed this one, feel free to drop a like down in the comments section. Support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to come back and watch our friends continue to flog this facility... If you know what I'm saying, might uh, consider subscribing as well because I got more euphemisms for masturbation than any other human on the planet. I can make anything sound vaguely dirty. I really can. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.